There we go. So, uh, does anyone know what their dream job will be? Me. Mm -hmm. All right, well, a quote by, oh my gosh, you found this, a quote by, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, Confucius, or Confucius, it was, a, it was a Chinese teacher that said, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. So that basically means it's like to pick a job that, or pick a job that feels more like living than not labor. So, the top of dream jobs can help you get ideas on what you want, to, what you want your dream job to be if you don't already have one. Um, they can also help you get started on thinking about your future a little bit more. Seeing other people's dream jobs will help you determine if your, if your job you have now is the right one for you. Um, cho choosing a dream job is important. Today I'm going to inform you about dream jobs. So I kind of have an idea what my dream job would be. I want to be a personal trainer in my own gym and train like teen athletes. And uh, also choosing a dream job is it will benefit, or choosing a dream job that you love will benefit you in the future. So the main points I'll be covering today is why I chose the job I did, why dream jobs are important, and how it can benefit you in the future. So the first one, why I chose a personal trainer for a dream job. Um, according to an article, NFPT, National uh, Federa Federation of Professional Trainers, it states professional trainers are typically driven by a passion for fitness and a desire to share their experience and knowledge with others. Um, this quote kind of relates to me because I enjoy fitness and I want to share my experience and knowledge with others as well, along with my own cares. Um, uh, the article also states, I want to help people live a uh, healthy lifestyle and I want to make my own lifestyle to career and have another, another stream of income doing something I enjoy. And I want to teach people about the body and what it's capable of. Uh, all those are common reasons people want to become a personal trainer and they all sound like me as well. So next time we talk about why dream jobs are important. Dream jobs are important. Uh, according to an article, why, why pursuing your dream is still important, it mentions when deciding to choose a dream job, there are only three questions to really ask yourself. What, where, and how? Uh, what, do you love, what do you most love to do? Uh, where would you most love to do it? And how do you name such jobs and how do you find such jobs? Uh, love is important. You want to look for your passions, which is what you, what you most love to do and not just what you want to do, what you can do. Uh, if you choose something you love to do, then you will continue and enjoy it for the rest of your life. Number three, dream jobs are also beneficial. According to the, an article, Top Reasons Why You Must Have Your Dream Job, it explains the reasons why you should have your dream job right now. Some reasons include the fits in your lifestyle, um, it allows you to be your true self all the time, gives you energy instead of draining you, fulfills you, helps you make a difference in something you believe in. All those reasons for why you need to have your dream job will benefit you in some way. Fitting it in your life would mean like just fitting it into your schedule, allowing you some time to be more like not caring about people in the run, or not caring about what they think and only caring about what yourself or yourself. Giving you energy and not draining yourself would mean motivating yourself and not putting yourself down. Fulfilling basically means carrying out a task that was required, and then helping you make a difference in something you believe in. Would mean making yourself feel good about you using your talents and skills on the job, which will result in a positive change. So I'm sure this video is basically an um, inspirational, motivational video about the importance of how I don't know what that dream is that you have. Life, I'm not going to play it. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why? Why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal a rock from anybody. Why does this have to happen to me? <coughs> For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. 
Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do it? I can't handle it. These are not risk takers. You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You study them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I can't. Well, as you can see, in conclusion, having a dream job and, and knowing about what you want to do or not to do will increase, will help you have a success in the future. Today, I talked about why I chose a personal, or why I chose a personal training as my dream job, why dream jobs are important, how it can benefit you in the future. Um, whatever you love to do, make it to your dream job. If you choose something you don't like to do, really like to do, then you'll regret it in the future. Thanks for listening.